Hi friends. Today again going to Erkia farm. Today my main aim to catch the jackal. Let's see how the nature and uh, how my luck today to get the jackal hopefully i can get last week i spot out that jackal house <laughs> hopefully today i can get that uh, jackal i have to wait and uh, once it comes out from this home then uh, i plan to shoot that is today's uh, main uh, agenda and today friday early morning around 4:30 i just moved from my home towards rikia farm almost 60 kilometers from my place so let's see on the way i'll share all the videos i'll share my experience thank you on the way to irkia farm uh, this is uh, 40 second exit from the abusamara main road we already enter inside the road the time is around 5 o'clock uh the sun is coming out slowly so the temperature is around 29 we are expecting around uh, 25 to 26 degree inside the farm let's hope how the climate as well as the sunlight will help us today little cloudy in the morning even so clear sky maybe we are expecting around uh, uh by 7 or 7:30 can expect uh, more uh, clear sky so early morning lot of people are getting jogging uh, actually in this side there is only uh, one uh, labor camp Here they are doing the sand processing in this area. This is Erkia farm. Now we already enter inside. See this side. Just now they put some uh, grasses. Uh, maybe it will become like uh, complete greenish. Some works are going on. I think you come to know today what we are going to discuss. Yes, it's nothing. Propels sand fox. My long time dream to catch this rupel fox in Qatar. Finally. today i got that today is my luckiest day because early morning i planned need to capture this rupel fox that is my main agenda also today so as usual i start my uh, trip morning 4:30 as usual then i reach around 5:30 when i enter inside the rikia farm i planned to decide and then i reach to the place of the rupels fox what i have seen i had seen last week so almost 5:30 to 6 o'clock i wait for the, in that place i think no movement nothing is happen so i little bit 
uh, vexed. Then I decided to move somewhere. But my hope and uh, my aim also. However, I want to reach this ripples. Okay. I will share my video and my experience, what I saw, how we go to Erkia farm and how beautiful uh, inside the Erkia farm. I will show in the video as well as. Uh, what is Rupal sand fox? Lot of foxes is there, an Indian fox and then uh, Phoenix foxes, Rupal fox. Uh, Rupal and Phoenix is almost the same. The smaller size, sizing small, but Rupal is very, very calm, and uh, it's look like a dog, small dog, pet animal. It's like a pet animal. It's not a wild animal. Uh, but Phoenix is not like that. The Phoenix behavior is totally wrong, different. It's it may be attack us also. There is a difference between the Rupal and the Phoenix. Um. It is a small fox, I already told. Its total length is around 60 to 70 centimeters. And the tail, it's almost a 30 centimeter. It's a beautiful tail. It looks like a bunch of uh, some. Uh, you have seen in a lot of movies, uh, the heroine have the tail of the fox as well as the fox uh, skin. Uh, it's very beautiful animal. It's like a small, but it's very beautiful. Weight approximately 3.5 to uh, 5 kilo or 4 kilo, not more than that. It's very, very small animal. The coat is sanding is colored uh, with numerous white hairs and uh, fading from reddish along the middle of the black to pure white on the animals under the pot on the tip of the tail also it's look like a, in the color it's a tricolored fox uh, the habitat of this animal it's found across the northern africa and then uh, pakistan afghanistan and then uh, middle east particularly uh, saudi arabia it's more it's more commonly you can see anywhere uh, it prefers a very very hot climate a dry climate actually it's not a dry, hot climate it's a dry climate uh, and it digs holes and make a small dunes in the sand to avoid the heat so you can see any sand area, sandy areas with a small dune, you can uh, found this uh, gentleman. Uh, mainly the diet for this Rupal sand fox, sand fox is uh, like small insects, snakes and uh, spiders, some small fruits, lizards, etc. It's a small, uh, it's a small animal only not a big matter so today I want to share the photos on on what stage I took and how I found this guy also I'll share one by one this is my first shot uh, when I park my car and then I watch around the area is there any movement or I'm watching a very long time almost 45 minutes I wait for this guy then finally I saw it is watching me a long time also <laughs> because I am a park my I parked my car in between uh, this guy and the home of this guy in between so it is watching me when I move from that place to cross and he want to reach this uh, home so I decided okay it is watching me uh, almost I am also watching him almost 10 minutes to maybe probably 15 minutes he is not moving, he is standing in the same place what you are uh, looking in the screen. Then I decide to move my car a little backward, then it directly goes to his home. 
this is my second picture in between i take lot of pictures uh, but i want to make a short and crisp video for the ripples sand fox uh once it reach to the dune then he is telling to his wife maybe <laughs> i don't know his language somebody is following or something something then immediately uh his wife also went inside the dune and then he is waiting when i move from that place i'm uh, quite far from uh, his home because you know we cannot able to approach any animals or any any kind of uh, uh, bats or anything we cannot approach very close if you close to the animal may it attack or may it will run away from away from you so always you need to keep the distance between you and the subject that is the lesson i learned during this uh, my period i know the range by experience only okay this is the range maybe it will flew away for example a bat or if any an animal it will move from that place to another place so there is a limit there is a range uh, earlier i was used 70 300 mm lens only so i cannot even reach the subject so i want to reach the subject after that i bought a tamron 150 600 mm it's really 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 a fantastic lens it is very helpful for me to take and uh, i don't want to go very near to the animal or bad or whatever it is i can keep a distance and i can take a frame whatever i like and still he is watching me when i move that uh, place or not and finally it get tired and he go for a small sleep uh, almost 2 hours i am with him is very cooperative <laughs> it's very nice experience today uh, so i want to share that's why i present this video and this is the one again one more shot then again he go to sleep then again uh, it looks me here just i move my car uh, some other angle so i want to catch more close i want to close to the animal so suddenly he wake up is ready to go inside this is the this is the range almost uh, almost 600 to 700 500 meter almost far from my player my my position to the fox suddenly he wake up and uh, the next he ran away he hid because uh, he is get more shy also maybe fear that's it today my beautiful experience with this ripples sand fox thanks for watching my channel jork please subscribe and share thank you once again thank you for your support see this is the beauty of irkia farm everywhere greenish lot of grasshoppers is there and see the field this is totally different totally uh, desert in this big desert they maintain this much greenish you can imagine how they are maintaining this all the things how they cultivate how they follow the management uh, water management system everything they are they are pre planned well planned this one that's why the species and the 
migratory birds each and everything is passing this farm